Hey guys, Happy Trees here. In today's video, I just wanted to make like a account update type of thing. I'm gonna try to do one of these every 50 days, just so, just kind of for me, really. I think it's kind of neat to track my progress, just because I've been investing so much time into this game. So about 50 days ago, I did a video on 100 days, and I was a little late. It was like 107 days, and this time I'm at 153. So I'm just splitting the difference. I'm, I'm four days off of 50 days, so that's pretty close. But yeah, I went back and watched that 100 day video, and it was really neat. Uh, my account's come a long ways. I think my account was pretty bland back then. Not a whole lot of variety in it, but that's kind of changed now. I have, I have way more weapons to play around with now, and way, way more heroes leveled up. So... We'll just take a look at the schematics first. I'll just point out some of the traps that I have a lot of perk up invested in. So the gas trap, number one, uh, best trap in the game. I max this out. I got a couple of pistols leveled up now. Not very much perk up in them, but uh, I just needed to level up a couple for the new pistol hero that came out. So I need to work on my pistol game a little bit. Um, anything else? I got the floor launchers upgraded quite a bit. That's an important trap. And the shotgun. I've I finally got the Raider when that came out not too long ago. But I had this the room sweeper leveled up for a while now. It's a great weapon. You can pump out a ton of damage. It's just like a It's a smasher slayer. It's really good. Pump out a lot of damage really, really fast. But my other shotguns aren't so great. Siege Breaker, that was the first weapon I my, my one good weapon when when the Reaper came out, so I pumped all my perk up into this, so that'll be around forever. And a Tiger. I love this thing. Max that out. It's Obsidian, too, and Obsidian on this weapon works fantastic. And got the Wall Dynamo. Getting there. I think this will be the next thing I try to max out. A little bit here. And what else? Oh, the Mercury LMG. I got that maxed out. This is... I like this just because it's energy ammo. And, uh... You just switch it up, use energy ammo sometimes, and... And, uh, consume a different type of ammo. And this is a really good weapon. And the Obliterator, too. Wherever that's at. There it is. All purple, so... Still need to upgrade this guy, but... That's okay. I don't use it too much anymore, but still, really good gun. And then I'll just keep scrolling down here. I got a lot of new weapons since my last, the 100 day video, just because of the birthday llamas. Uh, so, got a ton of the old event weapons that maybe someday, hopefully, I can get to leveling them up. But, uh, yeah, here, the Nocturno, I'd like to level that thing up. Just to compare it to my Siege Breaker. That'll probably be... Maybe be the next one. And... Keep it going. I never leveled up the Typewriter. And that came out when I was playing the game a lot. So, I just kind of missed that one. And yeah, that's it. And the rest are just uh, duplicates. I need to recycle this stuff. And now on to my heroes. And my heroes have really come a long ways uh i was real short on my hero selection 50 days ago but now i i've spent a bunch of time grinding out hero xp and, and leveling up a bunch of these guys i have a bunch of them on exploration missions right now that's why they look like that but uh yeah a whole lot of 130s in here got to there i've just been running wild fragment dead eye for a while now just because of the Outlander bug. This is my main main hero right now. Really strong. Really, really strong. Then I got a bunch of 106s. And a few 82s. I just leveled these guys up to try them out pretty much. And that's the heroes. I got a bunch from the birthday event that I didn't level up. Obviously. How can we level up all of these? This is crazy. That's going to take forever to get everything leveled up. 
And that's okay, we don't need to. It's, it's uh, a lot of them aren't, aren't that fantastic. And now the defenders. I only have one defender leveled up. Old, old grandpa right here. And uh, my last, in the 100 day video, he was at 82. Now he's 106. <laughs> so I leveled him up one star. But he's all I need really. In the last video, I did mention how I wasn't using defenders very much. And I need to do that. And I do use them now. And I'm glad I do because... It's really good. Really strong to just throw down the offender. I use the obliterator with him so I can just box him in and he doesn't die, usually. And yeah, they're really helpful. I didn't look at my collection book in that 100 day video, but here it is, I'm at 174. I don't know if that's high or not. Uh, probably in the middle, I guess. But one interesting thing is the heroes. I have a bunch of heroes, if I have the first one, if I only have one of them, I just have them favorited in my heroes and I'll level them up whenever. But just to give you kind of an idea, you know, I haven't gotten a lot of duplicates on the heroes yet. And I've opened up a ton of pinatas in that time. So the legendary heroes are a little difficult to come by. So if you're having problems getting heroes, uh, don't worry, you'll get him eventually. Someday, maybe, who knows. And then I guess we'll just quickly take a look at my inventory. It's not too impressive, but I got a bunch of old traps in, in my storage. And let's see, the crafting materials. Yeah, so I haven't been doing too many high level missions yet. This is all I have. I don't have any any weapons leveled up to 130 yet because I don't have very many 5 star crafting materials. But yeah, two sunbeam and obsidian, and and there you go. That's the rest. I just craft traps whenever, whenever my inventory starts getting full, and that uses up a bunch of this junk real quick. So I'm currently a level 92, and in my 100 day video, I was at 84. <laughs> so I've gained eight levels in 50 days. That's pretty bad. Even though I, I could get a couple more levels, I think if I if I spent the experience, we'll see that a little bit later. But, but yeah, that's a, it's just a little show of how grindy this game is. <laughs> really, really, really grindy. And I'm in Twine Peaks right now. I was just getting into Twine Peaks in the last video, but yeah, I, I have the 94 missions unlocked. I need to do one or two more Storm Shield defenses to unlock the level 100 missions and then I can start grinding out more of the five star crafting materials and I need to do that soon I need to get up to some level 130 power level weapons I need to work on that let's check out the skill tree real quick so in my 100 day video I was I was getting close to almost maxing this out um, you see here there's I don't have quite all of them those are just Defender slots I have left to get and I'm not gonna be picking those up So those those will just stay like that and now for the research skill tree. I've really come a long ways on this I've been logging on every day even if I'm not playing any games. I just log on one time so I can collect my skill points and I I haven't missed many uh, if any But yeah, I've just been going into the ability damage ability and trap damage and gadget damage I really enjoy ability heroes, so that's why uh, I place a lot of traps too, so that's helpful. And with the Outlander bug, I don't even know if it's a bug at this point because it's been going on for like three weeks and I haven't fixed it yet, so who knows, maybe that's just a thing now. But yeah, I got a few more ability slots to get and then I'll work my way up into the combat slots. And think they are here yep I got them all I just got the last tree to get the ability damage we'll take a quick look at the survivor squad so I really haven't come too far on this I I'm still missing one mythic lead so that's pretty good I've gotten pretty lucky there with my mythics um but yeah they're these two are the uh, personal trainer and the fire team alpha are the wrong personality type 
So, I haven't been putting a whole lot of points into these until I know that I have all the right leads in place so that I won't just have to go and recycle them later on. So because I don't want to waste any XP on a card I might have to throw away later, I only have one lead leveled up to the max. Uh, and that's just because the bonuses on these survivors are, are all matching. I think I need to put a couple points into her still, but but yeah, this team is almost all the way leveled up. And it just happens to be tech, so more ability damage. So that works out really nice. And you can see here in my resources, I have a lot of survivor XP saved up. I've been saving this for a couple few weeks now, just because I, I don't really have anywhere to put it in my survivor tree. I'm just holding on to it until I get the right cards to put it into. And that's about it. Uh, that's what my account looks like after 150 days. Actually, the quests. I could look at the main quest. And on these quests, I'm still working on finishing up the level 82 zones. So I really haven't been trying to get these completed. I just kind of naturally get them done. If, if there's just a mission that I happen to like the rewards on, I go into it. And, and if it's one of these things that wants you to complete for the mission, I, I get it done. Uh, I have really haven't been focusing on completing these at all. Because you don't need to, now all you have to do is complete the SSD and you'll open up that next, the higher slot of mission difficulty. And that's all. That's the account after 150 days. And uh, I guess I'll do this again in 50 more days at, at day 200. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.